Ashley and Marilika, can you just quickly explain to us where are we now? What is this place called and what is the idea behind it? Yeah, sure, we can. <laughs> uh, we're in the, the Blue Platz, the modern day monastery. Right. Yeah, and so it's a modern day monastery, it's a house of prayer, uh, it's a place where we just want Jesus to feel welcome. Right. And um, so. Um, it's a place of worship and a worship uh, creativity is for us very important. Mm -hmm. That is worship and a lot of different creative expressions like dance, painting, singing, whatever you want. Yeah. Um, so that we can give him all the glory he deserves through all that creativity and all the gifts that we have. Yeah. And that from that place of worship and prayer um, to really do projects so we can serve yeah. the city. Mm -hmm. and it sounds like you guys have a really, really big vision for this place. It's, it's a place dedicated to the Lord and a place uh, where His presence will be sort of continuously in a, in a, in a very beautiful way. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow, and, and it's still, um, it looks a bit unfinished still, that's true, <laughs> right? <laughs> You're still building it. <laughs> Kuhn has a sharp eye. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're still building and uh, I love it. We, we had a, a week of dedication when we worshiped Him and during uh, yeah in December, and then one of the guys said, "I hope this place will will never be finished, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. we want to do, we want to see the Lord to do new things all the right. time, and, and uh, yeah, I really sense that yes, the, we we want that because yeah. because he's he's the most glorious one. So, yeah. um, but still, we're we're uh, we're building, and uh, the whole place is built from used materials. Okay." And uh, yeah, what, what, what do I need to say more? Uh, yeah. uh, and you're building here like almost every day of the week yeah. mm -hmm. yourself. And are there people helping you with that at least? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Thank God. God is good. <laughs> no, but the funny thing is I have no experience building. I, I, okay. Some people are raised with, with a hammer and a saw, you know, but right. no, that was not the case uh, uh, with me. Um, but uh, now we work on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, half okay. half days, yeah. so till till two, till three, something like that. And uh, uh, Tuesday and Thursday we have the whole day. Okay. So and most of the time there are three or four people uh, helping us building. Okay. And uh, unfortunately, the, the guys they know what they do, you know. So, right. Uh, okay. So they can yeah. help you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. I'm more, I, I'm the more the visionary. I know, right. like. I like the. I'm an artist, so yeah. I, I like to make it beautiful. Yeah. Um, and and and, and uh, you have to think about the things that will will happen. But I'm not yeah. really the build build guy. I'm, okay. I'm more like building the community yeah. than to put the nails. But he <laughs> still does it. I still do it. We got to know each other this summer when you told me about this uh, place, mm -hmm. and and I heard that you both are are very creative people, mm -hmm. like you're a designer, I think, mm -hmm. uh, and an artist, and you're more into to dancing and, and uh, those type of, of expressions, mm -hmm. and, and you both love Jesus <laughs> very yeah. much. So how did the vision for this place actually start? Where did yeah. that, how did that happen? Yeah, I think uh, it just, uh, we had a desire, and the desire came from God, and it yeah. develops along the way. Yeah. And for me, I was in Uganda and I was really into the dancing, but I had a, a bit of trouble with dancing on the stage and okay. I was not chosen to dance on stage, but right. I still love to dance and I love yeah. Jesus. So I got really interested in worship dance and uh, dance coaching and how it can free people and how yeah. it can bring restoration really to people. Yeah. And. Um, and, but I also really love the House of Prayer here in mm. Groningen. Okay. So yeah. uh, those two worlds came together and mm. I just was like, oh man, this place is, there's so much darkness, but it just needs another House of Prayer. Like, yeah. it doesn't really need a House of Prayer, but it needs Jesus. Yeah. And um, so that we can uh, worship Him and just what happens with the atmosphere when we just raise the name of Jesus. Yeah. And then, you know, we can do projects, we can do build an orphanage, we can share the gospel, but um, if the ground is not ready, it doesn't yeah. really work. Mm -hmm. And you make the ground ready, you prepare the atmosphere by, yeah. um, by worshiping Jesus.
Yeah. And then, but of course, I was really young, and the fashion didn't really match with my identity in them at that point. Yeah. Um, so um, at some point, Jesus was just like, "I want you to give it up, all of it." And then He gave me the verse of Nehemiah, uh, where He says, "Like, hey, don't worry. Uh, we will build these yeah. walls. Yeah. Um, and we will yeah. finish this." Mm. And then, uh, yeah. So I was a girl full of fashion, but I had no idea where to start. <laughs> Yeah, um, and then she met me. And then, yeah. 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 yeah, because it's one thing to have a yeah. vision, a, a dream, an idea uh, for for a beautiful place of creativity and, a, and yeah. the presence of God, but then to actually like go and build it. Mm. I mean, it's a huge yeah. project. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it it, it's taken a lot of sacrifices, uh, sure. I guess, and, yeah. and, a, and a giant step of faith. Yeah. How did that happen? Maybe maybe mm. you can speak to that a little bit. How did it happen? Good one. Um, yeah. Well, there were two things. Like, uh, uh, I think key is identity, mm. and something that I've I've learned is, yeah, a lot of times Christians they want to do all these good things. Yeah. Um, but we just wanted to create or build a place where he can rest and we mm. we can behold him. You know, okay. we, we can we can meet him. Yeah. And uh, yeah. it's like I, we all have a cell phone, <laughs> and we you need a plug and you need to plug in. Yeah. Because otherwise the phone doesn't work. It's the same with us. Yeah. We need to be and rest at his at his feet. We feel that actually that's what what Jesus did. He yeah. he, he sat uh, by the Father and then he did his stuff. So I believe that's a a big thing. And one thing uh, that he, uh, God, put in my heart was, was also via a dream and, and, and it concerned Nehemiah as well. Uh, there was like this repeated verse like uh, Nehemiah 4, uh, 4 verse 20. And it just kept on repeating. I was like, huh? I don't even know who, who Nehemiah is, you yeah. know? Uh, and I think via the dream, something was birthed, birthed in, in, in in my heart, more like, hey, what, what is this? And then I mm -hmm. started to figuring out what he did, and uh, of course, talk to God, like, hey, you want me to be like, because I'm, I'm Ezri, of course, and this is Marilike, but sometimes there are people in the Bible yeah. who, yeah, resonate with your own heart. Yeah, and yeah. Yeah, I, I like David, I like Daniel, and I, I like <laughs> Nehemiah. <laughs> but I think, um, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know. We did a we did a we did a course at, at Youth with a Mission, Crescendo, and, and it was about worship and prayer. And there is an intercessor in in me, but I'm still right. figuring out. Yeah. And actually, that's the case with this as well. Uh, I just I'm just being obedient. Mm -hmm. the, this, he's the giver of all good things. Yeah. Uh, he placed a vision in, in her heart, in my heart, and, and that's actually when, where we met. Because I was explaining, this is what I'm going to do, and she was like, that's my idea. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. that's my idea, <laughs> no. you know? So, and, that, and that's... Better partner that's, up then. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's like, that, that was the revelation, like, wow. Yeah. And then yeah. she started to dancing, and I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then I was like, hey, <laughs> we need a dance school for yeah. him and for her, you know? Yeah. like. He, we just want to partner with the Holy Spirit, yes. mm -hmm. wow. and yeah. and I believe that He's worth all of our stuff. And sometimes, yeah, I'm like, yeah. whoa, checking checking account. Oh Lord, help! Yeah. And then like, he, that's a way of trusting. And yeah. we just want to yeah. be obedient, building a house where He feels at home. And actually, we don't know all the things that will happen. No, we're just no. building this. And sometimes we we say like, God, He created the sea first yeah. yeah and then the fish mm. so and we and just create the sea yeah and then the fish will come after You're creating <laughs> the the house of prayer the how the tabernacle of his presence yeah and then yeah god fills it also with his people and with yes. his ideas yeah yeah and also um living by the day like he mm. gives mana for the day yeah true and um, I think this society really asks for diplomas and studies and God in his kingdom he is yeah. asking for healthy people. Right. Um, so the process of building this 
was also really a process of becoming healthy and yeah. let God, the Holy Spirit, makes us more healthy because you think like, oh, if we need so much money and then it's really about trusting God mm. and He will provide. So, um, yeah, just really allowing God to do that work in us. Yeah. And um, I think that was a really important thing as well. And like he said, just really yeah. being obedient to yeah. the small things and step for step. Yeah, yeah. Man, but I think, yeah, I, I, amen. No, but, but, but we, I think we both, what you mentioned before is, is about the, the atmosphere, you know? And um, like praise and worship is like a highway. Yeah. And we were talking about Nehemiah and he was lit, literally building the walls. Mm -hmm. But I believe that, that walls for a city are prayer and worship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If, if we as a church in Groningen, mm -hmm. in togetherness, yeah. in unity, start mm -hmm. doing corporate prayer and worship, uh, and we, uh, yeah, the, the atmosphere will change. Yeah. And these are crazy days, you know, like mm. people don't know where to go. Yeah. Mm. And I believe that this place will be a place where, where, where people will get refreshed in His presence. Right. And it's not like that we know all the stuff. Yeah. I needed refreshment just like anyone else did, yeah, yeah. does. Yeah. But when we worship Him, it's like clouds disappear, you know. And, and, and that's, that's yeah, pretty intense because now, because of Corona, <laughs> uh, the worship is probably could be a little less than normal. Yeah. That is a problem. And we are made yeah. to, to worship made to Him. Worship. That's, That's what we do. What do yeah. all the angels do when they're there upstairs? They sing, holy, 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 yeah. holy, holy. Mm -hmm. And He says, like, uh, let it be over here just as in heaven. Mm -hmm. So yeah. this is a priest day, so what we will do there. And, right. and, and we are made for worship. And of course, worship is far more than singing songs. Yeah. It's yeah. like a way of life. Mm -hmm. you, Everything yeah. we can do. I, yeah. I, I, I sometimes say we never exit worship, and I'm, it's easier because sometimes I'm out of worship. <laughs> and I say, Lord, help me. Yeah, yeah. But you know what I mean. I do. I do. And so, so this is supposed to be a, like a sacred ground, ground, really, where people can, uh, I guess, bring something, bring their worship, bring uh, prayer and intercession, bring creativity, but definitely also receive uh, new inspiration uh, mm -hmm. and. and ideas and dreams for, for their lives mm -hmm. and to, to themselves be people that, that flourish. Mm -hmm. and that, that, yeah. Um, yeah. So just, just uh, to, to round this off, like you say, I don't, we don't know exactly what it's going to be like, but what's, mm -hmm. the, what's your vision at this point, your dream? Like yeah. how will this place be filled? What, yeah. what kind of things will happen? Who is it yeah. for? Yeah. Um, yeah, I think um, I, I try to tell myself uh, someone said one time that uh, always make sure that you don't become a system or um, something and it's very easy to mm -hmm. become a system yeah. and have activities and which is good but that we are a group of pilgrims just on a journey and um, learning along the way yeah um, so there, it's true a lot of things we don't know yet but what we do know is that uh, when we are in God's presence um, then people, the next thing that will happen is that people will flourish, yeah. and people will find restoration and when people are in a place where they feel safe because God is here, yeah. um, they are free to uh, raise their voice and to dance and to do whatever they want to do and how God made them yeah. and they can use those gifts to, uh, to serve the city mm -hmm. um, but it really starts with being in His presence yeah. and then from that presence there will be a lot of Flourishing, yeah, and yeah. growing, and yeah, yeah, and, and through that, very concrete, we believe that this year he will fill gaps. You know, not, no, there's no gaps, but on Monday evenings, Marilika will have a dance group, mm -hmm. like dance worship. So there is a, 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 a agenda. So on oh, yeah. this Friday, we will have a, a, a meal together. And uh, we we will uh, celebrate Last Supper, and we have a time of worship. Yeah. And um, that we will do Freedom Friday. So we will gather around uh, yeah. a, a, a text from the Bible, and we just start making. Yeah. And maybe you have a talent for writing, or you have a talent for uh, theater, or or whatever. You know. But but we believe we also believe that there are a lot of people with dreams and and ideas 
but they don't know how to make it flourish. Yeah. So we get together, mm. in, uh, we believe that we come alive in His presence, so also these dreams come alive. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then we will just like, hey, how, what, no, oh, no, maybe that's the first. Lord, how do you want to translate this? Yeah. Or what's the vocation? And how can we help? Yeah. And I believe that the Holy Spirit will birth new things, also projects, yeah. and that it's, I think that maybe it can look a lot of different than evangelizing, but maybe they will see like an art piece or, or, a, or hear a song and that people will recognize truth in it mm. and like they will draw on like, ah, what is this? This, this art piece yeah. is different because mm. it's connected to the greatest yeah. artist because so the Holy Spirit can right. rest in the creation as a, as a, as a creator. Mm. I believe yeah. that's... So this should be a place where people from di different churches can uh, yes. come for all kinds of activities mm -hmm. and, and worship and prayer and mm -hmm. uh, creativity, things that uh, connect them to our Creator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, that's such a beautiful uh, vision and, and uh, that it's a place of flourishment, the Bluey Plants, mm -hmm. that it's a place where people can flourish in the presence of, of God. Yeah. Man, um, I think that's such an incredible vision and mm -hmm. such an bold step for you guys to be like uh, to be like Noah to just build something mm. uh, based on, on a call from God and just see what comes next sort of yeah. and just, just <laughs> put everything into it yeah. and, and just trust God that he will provide and that this is indeed his his plan I think it's such an incredible um, vision and, and, and an incredible step so uh, maybe we can end the uh, I can pray over you guys on behalf of, of Okay, yeah, yeah. and then uh, we'll also see in the future how we can connect to this place uh, uh, I know that there's an invitation from you guys to build along uh, mm -hmm. already so if ever, yes. anyone's inspired they can mm -hmm. go to that website and connect with you guys to help build along yeah. Um, but yeah I look forward to, to connecting further in the future uh, around this place because it, it, it's, it's a beautiful uh, vision mm -hmm. and uh, I already think it's beautiful now, and even if it's when it's unfinished. <laughs> so, yeah. Father, we thank you for uh, Esli and Marilika. Thank you for their vision for the Blue Platz, for a place of, of flourishment, flourishing in your presence. And Lord, indeed, Groningen needs a place like this. It needs many places like this where people can can step on on sacred ground and and be in your presence in in a different way than they would normally be a place that's mm -hmm. continually filled with with worship and prayer uh, a little bit of heaven on earth and so I just pray uh, your blessing over the upcoming uh, weeks and months as they continue to build this place Lord that they will get enough help that they will get all the finances together mm -hmm. that they will that you'll provide in in every way that this will become a place as beautiful as the Temple of Solomon mm -hmm. and that this will be a place where your presence abounds and where yeah. people come to flourishment. Mm -hmm. We pray it in Jesus' mighty name. Mm -hmm. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah.